हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर फीलिंग वेल प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल टू मैनी व्यूवर्स वाचिंग माय वीडियोस विदाउट सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर स्पोर्टिंग मी सो लेट स्टार्ट टू द इन्फॉर्मेशन दीज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन दिन आर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी द लेटेस्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन ओपिनियंस and rumors about Iraqi dinar then visit this site www.tanaropinions.com due to a new 6 day holiday eid all stock market trading will be closed until july 3rd they are trying to talk to you again the budget is at 64 trillion that is impossible at a program rate member question what do you feel worst scenario will be with taxes on this I still believe there will be no taxes but be prepared in case I am wrong. No one will know for sure until the RV happens. I feel we have been in a critical period of the currency reform program since January of this year 2023. Now we are in a vital period since the 3-year budget has been passed on Sunday June 11th and now ratified by the president on June 21st as needed to become law. It is now law and needs to be posted in the gazette but only for record's sake. Anything could now happen and is going to happen. In fact, this week or next could be the pivotal last days for our investment. The CBI has told me they want to conclude this process of currency reform by July 1st. An increase in the exchange rate of the Iraqi dinar would be a big help to Iraq when it comes to rebuilding infrastructure. but it's not going to happen they depend way too much on oil anything can happen to oil prices and it would be really detrimental to iraq the digital media center dmc stated on wednesday that the semi annual report on the implementation of the government program included many important steps that will contribute to adopting digitization and taking important steps towards electronic government which has become a necessity required by the current era and is not just a luxury or theoretical measures the center stated in a statement received by al maloma that the iraqi government announced the completion of the digital transformation project for the general company for communications and informatics and the completion of the trial operation of the project to repel cyber attacks which will pave the way for building a virtual line of defense that can repel attacks against the digital system he added the government has started procedures for digital transformation and automation of citizens transactions in government departments to close the outlets of corruption and facilitate procedures related to citizens In the field of addressing issues related to the social protection sector, the center stated that the government launched the electronic My Umbrella service for groups benefiting from social protection, which is an important step in identifying those who trespass on state funds, who are not eligible through a tight electronic system that is not subject to any influences or moods. Distort his course of action. and he indicated that the government has applied the single window system in registering companies and the formation of a specialized audit committee to review commissions collected by all electronic payment companies and more than 85% of iraqi trade is conducted through the electronic platform and complies with international standards a step that the center welcomes as it will contribute to enhancing the work of the private sector with ease and transparency away from bureaucracy and routine procedures